Next up is position and angles of the skis and poles. It's amazing how many different opinions you'll hear about polling in V1 offset. So let's start with the poles and do the skis second. This is the approximate start of a V1 offset cycle. And you can see that the pole positioning is asymmetrical. In both these skiers, the left ski is about to set down. And so we would say that the skiers are offsetting on their left sides. And in this example, the researchers would have called the left side pole the strong side pole and they would have called the other pole the right side pole the weak side pole. It's immediately obvious that the strong side pole is more vertical and the weak side pole is more angled and it's angled both in the sideways direction and in the front to back direction. On this rear view, the, the strong side pole, this pole would be angled maybe three to four degrees off vertical, and this pole would be angled 20 or more degrees off the vertical. And then seen from this view, the strong side pole might be angled six degrees at the slowest speed, um, and then as speed increased, it did move, it, it did angle progressively more in this direction and it went up to about 11 degrees. And then in terms of the uh, weak side pole on this side, it was angled around 21 degrees at the slowest speed and the angle increased to about 24 degrees at the higher speeds. So obviously that's going to affect uh, tip placement. So where the pole tips hit the ground so the pole tip placement was measured in relation to the uh, pivot point on the boot binding of the first ski. And what the researchers found was that the, um, that the vertical pole, so the strong side pole, this side, it planted between 3.6 and 6 centimeters ahead of that pivot point, whereas the weak side pole over here, it planted behind that pivot point. And um, that distance was about seven centimeters at the lowest speed and increased to about 16 centimeters at the highest speed. In my experience, this weak side pole in less skilled, less skilled skiers can be prone to planting very far back. So if I were um, just getting started, I would not deliberately try to plant that pole too far back because the chances are that the skier is already um, a little too far back with that pole. But the reality is the poles are not exactly opposite from each other, in case that's something you were wondering about. The researchers didn't report on hand positioning, but if you look at World Cup skiers, you'll see that on the weak side, the hand is typically positioned um, in front of the shoulder and the strong, whereas the strong side pole is wide of the shoulder. And then in terms of the height of the pole, say relative to the shoulder or the head position, that's going to depend on how much uh, the skier is flexed at the ankles, knees and hips. And it's also going to depend on the pole length. So like I said earlier, this paper doesn't tell us everything we need to know about offset, but at least it tells us like some basic positioning. And in my experience, this start position um, where the with the staggered uh, hand position and the angled poles is very difficult to learn. And so um, I said this study wasn't really a how-to, but in a way it kind of is. Getting these angles right is really important and something that's definitely worth a lot of attention and that will help a lot of people's technique.